All right. Let's do it. Robotech Defender is old tech. You battle tech people know it is the Shadow Hawk. Cut some of that light down for you. All right, we're going to unbox this guy. From, I believe it is, 1984? Zoltec. Robotech Defenders line, the Ravel line. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. Find a date on this guy here. Nineteen eighty-four. Yep. Cool. We're gonna open him up. Nope. Got my knife. Don't play with knives, kids. All right. Let's open this guy up. Let's look at the sprues, huh? Here we go. Thirty-five years old. In the box. Wow. Now I'm not going to take the sprues out of the bag, but that is beautiful looking. Look at this, the instructions. Clearly written instructions. Nice. There's four sprues, five sprues if you count the cockpit. Giddy. And 27 easy steps, including painting. How cool is that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're going to open the sprues. Pick with it. There we go. There we go. Bag out of here. Had a piece fall off. Whoops. The decals are in excellent shape for 35 years old being in a box. That's beautiful shape. It's the backpack and um, the Auto Cannon 5, if you're familiar with, with uh, Battletech terms like I am. Shadowhawk was the first mecha I piloted in the game, so I thought it was kind of cool. I always loved the Shadowhawk, always had a special uh, place in my heart. It's a good, it's a jack of all trades, master of none, basically is what it is. There's that other part there. And here we have the other screw. This is actually the second Zoltec that I have, but I just wanted to unbox this one for you guys here. Yeah, it's in great condition for being, you know, so don't want to lose these two things either. These control the uh, the joints, see if you have the rotation of the joints and stuff. Here's the cockpit. Pretty cool stuff. Pieces of it and laser thing. Like the other thing I liked about the Shadowhawk, at least in Battletech terms, is that you could um, load the SRM2s with uh, Inferno rounds and just go cause havoc. That's really kind of cool. So yeah, this is Zoltec. Uh, they didn't give you the the flyer thing that, hey, here's what else you can buy, kids. You know, the built-in advertisement. I'm kind of shocked at that. Um, maybe just miss this round or something like that. I'm not going to open up the decals because I don't want them to get uh, to get damaged. Yeah, don't glue the decals on. CSS over right there. Don't glue the decals on. I had this model when I was a kid, man. And this just kicked butt. Now it says the scale is. 172, 1 over 72, which means, you know, 1 inch is equal to 6 feet in height. Um, I've heard that there's misprints on some of these boxes. I can't remember if it's the 148 that's wrong or the 172 that's wrong. Uh, if anybody knows, uh, you know, feel free to comment. I'll look it up myself after the video. But if you want to comment for the other people that look, uh, look at my video, then, uh, then let me know. The box is in beautiful shape, too. I think I bought this for like 25 bucks off of eBay really a great buy I can't wait to put it together um, I might do a video log of me putting some of these together and I will post it to to YouTube of course um, assembling painting and you know and things like that I think that'd be really kind of cool so 
Alright, that's Zoltec from Robotech Defenders. I plan on getting some more of these um, either later on this year or early next year. From 1984, guys. Jeez, I was born in 74, so I was about 10 when these models came out, and they were like all the rage. All the rage. Uh, it came along with the same thing with the Transformers and GoBots and, and stuff like that. Uh, That's when the Japanese market really started hitting America. Robotech, of course. I uh, don't want to forget about them. Macross, uh, that type of thing. So, really, really neat stuff. All right, guys. See you later. Like, subscribe, share video with your friends. Get me more subscribers. Trying to get up to at least a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, uh, so I can monetize my videos and maybe make a little bit of money. All right. Take care. Have fun. Bye.